Welcome to this month's APSCO News Bulletin produced by HR and Recruiter TV and sponsored by the Technology in Recruitment Alliance. I'm Kirsty Nicholl. After much anticipation and tough decision making, the shortlist for the 2013 APSCO Awards for Excellence has been unveiled. These coveted awards, sponsored by RBS and Daxtra, recognise and celebrate achievement in the recruitment industry and are a major indicator of professional standards throughout our sector. The shortlisted companies now go through to the next stage of live interviews with the judges. These meetings will be held next month and a full list of shortlisted companies is available on apsco.org. The winners will be announced at a prestigious luncheon at RBS headquarters in October. The APSCO Industry Benchmarking Survey came to a close last month and analysis is underway. The survey was completed by over 100 recruitment businesses representing 25% of APSCO's membership, ranging from boutique firms to large PLCs. This has given us quality raw data to work with and already the analysis is providing some fascinating insights and some surprises too. The full report will be available exclusively to the participants and the key findings will be discussed at APSCO's members meeting on the 19th of September, so book your place at the event now. The survey is intended to be run annually and APSCO predicts that once the quality of the data is seen, all of its members will want to take part next year. In other event news now, APSCO in association with Google and Grove Group will be hosting a special technology leadership forum which is open to all to attend. The event will examine the opportunities presented to recruitment organisations through the adoption of new technology and communication channels. The event will be held at Google UK's headquarters on Buckingham Palace Road on Tuesday the 1st of October and is free to attend. Russell Clements will be speaking at this year's APSCO's Members Conference, Defying Gravity. Russell was, until his retirement in 2012, CEO of S3 PLC. In 26 years with the group, he saw it grow to 64 offices in 18 countries, employing 2,300 staff. In 2005, he took the business public with a listing on the London Stock Exchange. He is now the non-executive chairman of Cube19 and NED chairman of Oyster Partnership. Russell will provide an insight into how data and analytics were at the heart of S3's extraordinary growth over 26 years and will present ideas and techniques that recruitment firms can use at both strategic and operational levels, as well as advice on how to turn data into revenue. Russell is just one of the speakers at this truly worthwhile event which will deliver a tangible return on investment for those who attend. Attendance is open to both members and non-members, so to find out more and to book your place, go to apsco.org. Well, that's all from me this month. I'm Kirsty Nichols, speaking for HR and Recruiter TV, bringing you this month's news summary for APSCO and sponsored by the Technology in Recruitment Alliance.